You're watching NFL Network Free Agency Frenzy. NFL Network insider Ian Rappaport back with us. The Chiefs are making some O-line moves. Ian, this one's an eye raiser. Eye raiser for a very specific reason. First of all, to the news, Juwan Taylor, the former Jaguars standout tackle, agrees to terms on a four-year, $80 million deal, $60 million guaranteed. That's interesting. Obviously, a big-time, really good right tackle to replace Andrew Wiley, who goes to the Washington Commanders uh, for $24 million deal over three years. But that's not why this was interesting. This is interesting because they are moving on from Orlando Brown. Remember, they famously traded for Orlando Brown. They gave him the franchise tag. They made a big-time, big-money offer that he did not take. Wants to be paid like a top-tier left tackle. And in the end, the Chiefs said, we're moving on. And so they moved on. And now Orlando Brown is a free agent. He is searching for a landing spot. I'm sure he is going to do fine, uh, but certainly just lost the Kansas City Chiefs as a landing spot. Okay, interesting. So Orlando Brown not only not getting tagged, he is truly, truly here hitting the market. Offensive lineman yeah. available. Mike McGlinchey earlier, Ian had, going from San Francisco to Denver, playing right tackle there, obviously. Thank you, Ian Rappaport. Big news there in Kansas City. A couple of years ago, guys, they reworked their offensive line, helped them immensely, took them back to the Super Bowl here. What do we think of this one, Scott? Orlando Brown, see you. Jawan Taylor, come on down. I'm okay with it because here's one thing about Andy Reid. Andy Reid knows protection. You look back to his teams, whether he was in Philadelphia – and whether he, he knows how to take players that have certain limitations and have certain strengths and make and build protection in and around that. So to me, I can't think of the last time that Andy Reid or an Andy Reid team has made a mistake with an offensive lineman. He always knows, again, what their strengths are and how to play to their strengths and then also hide because everyone has limitations in this game. Andy knows how to hide them and he knows how to make plays. And faced them twice last year obviously saw yep. him up close yeah. he played well I had a chance to watch him a lot last year he played really well but to me the other thing that you've got going for you if you're Andy Reid and you're Brett Veach you don't ever have to be the highest offer for for these guys because they all want to go play with Patrick Mahomes they all want to go chase championships and they've shown they are there each and every year so I've got a chance to go protect the best quarterback in the NFL got a chance to go win Super Bowl rings and the money's close done deal but the other part of this is to the play scheme I mean, we talk about all the razzle-dazzle they do pre-snap. and mm -hmm. Look at the stuff they do on the offensive line. I mean, some of the stuff, if you are, if you are semi-athletic, right. as you were saying, Andy Reid is going to design something to play to your strengths. When you watch all of the stuff they do up front, it well, is the, special. The other thing is you don't have to be perfect. No. You, you get no, beat, and guess exactly. what? Superman just wheeled out the back door and just threw a touchdown. Yeah, or, and, or Andrew Tony, who, you know, they, just, they, they get in the middle of the season – Shows up and makes a great play on some incredible play design. Right, and no offense, Orlando Brown had his limitations, and he and he built yeah. the strengths around it. And you know, the other point that you make that I and I love, and I've been waiting to talk about this, DJ, is the Kansas City Chiefs have now become a destination. Absolutely, and it's different but similar to our time at the New England Patriots. There were players that were willing to take less, or to come at a or at a very reasonable deal rather than try to break the bank to play with Tom Brady, to play for Bill Belichick. And that's what the Kansas City Chiefs are right now. To your point, and this is they are now a destination, the Kansas City.